Guys, I just thought I'd show you Riga City while I'm here for today. This is the Daugava River. It's a huge, big, long river. It goes all the way up towards Russia. And that's the bridge, tra railway bridge over. That's the National Library. That's a bit arty-farty looking. That's the TV Tower. You can go up to the top of that and have a look from the top. And you also go up to the top of that building as well and have a look at the city. Okay. Yeah, that's the Museum of Occupation. So that's somewhere interesting if you're ever in Riga. Go in there. The history about Riga. And then outside we have a little photographic exhibition of stuff. During the 1944 war. There's some bridges over the river. We were just over the Daugava River. And that's the railway bridge that was blown up with the German army in 1944. A lot of different types of architecture in the city. Let's see if there's anything about my town. Let's see if there's anything about Balavi. I'm not sure. Go Benny. Go Benny. How's it now? Riga, Yelgava different cities. So again we're behind the Occupation Museum and then right behind this is this beautiful building which is now a government building. It's a pretty impressive architecture. Let's zoom in. Pretty impressive stuff. This is like a square a lot of stuff is around the old town part of Riga, so if you ever come to Riga, book yourself into a hotel near the old town and everything was in walking distance. You don't need a taxi, you can walk everywhere. And there's lots of museums and interesting architecture, all different types of old churches, old buildings, modern buildings. It really is a lovely city. This is um, everywhere. Little streets like this all over the place. Interesting little restaurants and stuff like that. They're making a movie here at the moment. Some people dressed up in costume to match the years gone by. So, obviously set back a few years ago. What do you reckon guys? 1940s? Maybe older? Interesting. So I finally found this. This church. So many churches. I remember this one with this statue. It's amazing how you remember Sim simple little things when you visit a city. Somewhere around here there's an Irish pub for those who are in that way inclined. So, as I said, you can see everything in this city without having to get a taxi. You can walk absolutely everywhere. So a little bit of history for you guys on this particular on this particular architecture. Basically it's it's talking about the government. And on top is the, the government, the cock, underneath the cat, you get official people. Down the bottom you have the the asses, the people who have to do all the shit work. So that's actually the, the story behind this particular statue. You know who's at the top and we're at the bottom. Some wonderful, wonderful architecture. Beautiful buildings. More of the old streets. Some of this nice little balcony up by the house. It's a hotel. Fiends needs is Latvian for hotel. So if you're looking for a hotel, ask uh, somebody Fiends needs a. Lots of lovely little touches everywhere you look. If 
photographer's dream, the old town here in Riga. If you're into photographer and quirky stuff, you know. Another lovely little restaurant. This place will be packed during the summer. Notice up on top. Again, very old architecture. Beautiful, isn't it, guys? Another artist. So you're constantly going from one type of restaurant to another, to one little interesting area to another little interesting area. And my back is absolutely killing me. We're on, we're heading slowly to a, a shopping centre, where herself wants to do some shopping. So I'm just tagging along, doing what I'm told. You know the story, guys, when you're out shopping. <laughs> okay. That's some of the old, old walls. So that's the Freedom Monument. In Latvia. A few soldier chappies down the bottom there. And we'll go over here in this big park here. And again, everything within walking distance. Old town is down there. Lovely restaurant here as well. So, okay, guys, show you this little river. To do uh, boat boat tours down this river. I'm not sure if to do at the moment. They definitely do in the summer. It's a nice little river. Very Parisian style looking. It's just the river going down past them. It's a lovely park. Isn't that lovely, guys? Yeah, I know, it's not slaff cars, but come on. How many of you have been to Riga? I thought I'd give you a little tour. I've been here a few times. So it's worth showing you guys. It's a very beautiful city. And just how this building really stands out. It's architecture. It's fantastic. Very interesting. Amazing. So we're in what's called Lido Lido or Lido in Riga. These are the most popular places to eat for really good prices and all sorts of food. So you pick your own food, you put it on the plate and then you pay. It's a huge selection of food. So that's the name of the place. And be one of the most busy restaurants to have a number of them around Riga Center. So all of this stuff, meal for two, only 24 euro, really good value. As you can see, it's packed. And I'll show you a selection of the food now in a few minutes. So guys, you know, 
Lido or Lido? Lido. Lido. So guys, if you come to Riga, Lido is the place to go. It's right beside the Radisson Blue Hotel. Radisson Blue Hotel just down the road. One of the parks. But it's it's the whole idea of it is it's like homely cooking. You know, it's not your it's not your fancy restaurant, it's what you could cook at home, what a lot of traditional people, laughing people would cook with a splash of the exotic as well. So that's um why you'd go here. So stuff your fancy expensive restaurants with the a la carte menus. Go in here, get a hearty meal and enjoy it. Don't worry about the price because it'll be tiny compared to your fancy wine restaurants and all that. Highly recommended. So we're going to walk back up towards our apartment, which is in the embassy area. And uh, Bolt, that's a Bolt taxi, lots of Bolt taxis. If you want to get a taxi from the airport, get a Bolt taxi. Or better still, get the number 22 bus, which will bring you right into the old town, into the city centre from the airport for a couple of euro. So I highly recommend to get the bus. Don't get these guys who are taxis outside, you will be ripped off. And just to get your bearings correct, down the end of the road there, that's the Freedom Monument at the end of the road. Yeah. On the corner here, Radisson Blue Hotel. You go around here, down by the parks, and that's where the Lido is. Okay. There's obviously something going on in the Radisson Blue Hotel today because all day we have all the policemen and the police cars around the place. And this very impressive building. Not sure what to go and find out. <coughs> but very impressive nonetheless. Okay, so around the front side of that building and it's the National Art Museum. So that'd be somewhere worth traveling to. Work again if you're in Riga and you're into art. See some fine paintings and statues and stuff like that, so. So where our apartment is, we're in the embassy area. So if you notice, that's the Swedish embassy. And we go down here a little bit further. And I'll show you the next embassy, which is beside our building, our apartment. Very, very nice in there. And here we have the British embassy. With the British flag, the Union flag. And our apartment is right beside the British Embassy. Literally, I'll show you. There's the British Embassy cameras. Hello, British Embassy. God save our gracious king. He gives us ice cream all through the day. And in here is our apartment. Right in here, there's the British Embassy. So as an Irish man, I'm probably planning in the morning to maybe do an invasion of the British Embassy. Yeah, what do you reckon, guys? <laughs> As a proud Irish citizen, we might do a little invasion of the embassy tomorrow. So, we're right in the heart of everything. Come down this little laneway. I'll show you guys where we are. Lovely apartment. And we go there. And our doorway to our place is just just there. So that's our apartment is up the top floor. Sure, that's it. I might do a bit more tomorrow morning. We're going to the Irish Embassy, so I might show you a little picture of outside the Irish Embassy. So the roads here are just completely full of amazing buildings. We're going to the Irish Embassy, which is just down here. But um, just fabulous, fabulous buildings. Now, if you look down the end of the road. Let's go right down. Okay, can you see that blowing in the breeze? That'll be the Irish Embassy. So guys, that's the Irish Embassy there. Where we've just come from. 
And if you see anything else interesting, I'll, I'll take a photo. Okay, this is the National Opera. Statue. Down there. Set in a nice park. A cafe up there. And again, as I said, everything in walking distance, everything in the city you could walk to. And if I can walk to places, most people could. This, guys, is the Central Market, just across the road from the bus station in the centre of Riga. And this is where you come, you get all the different, tons of different meats, and you get fish. And then outside, there's uh, all different, tons of different types of fruit and stuff like that. But there's loads of different cuts of meat. I'll just show you as we walk along. My picture. This is the fruit market part, which is attached to the other part. So you get all your fruits here.